Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today, I want to show you how to clean out one of these tanks in case you want to cut it in half or make a little stove like I'm going to do. Stay tuned, I'll show you the safe way to do that. Okay guys, we've got our tank here. All right, this is the newer style valve. So if you open this valve up, nothing's going to come out whether you, you know, whether there's anything in it or not. Right in there, there's a little like a little check valve that gets pushed in when you put this on your grill. So if you want to make sure it's all out, hook this up to your grill or whatever or one of those heaters or whatever and turn it on and make sure there's no gas left in here also once you do that you can turn your valve open take something and stick in there and push that valve see how that valve pushes down in can you guys see that let me see that and hold that open you'll smell something don't don't be smoking while you're doing this guys okay and then you're pretty good to go for now now what we're going to do is we got to get this valve out of here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it's welded in three places welded there on the back right here and right there now i'm going to cut this off with a grinder with a four inch cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut them welds off and uh, try not to make any any sparks just in case but you should be okay to do that uh, I recommend using a Sawzall but I don't have one so I'm going to use my grinder and I'll show you how to do that okay guys I just cut this off I didn't hit record on the camera I'm sorry but I can show you there's those three three welds you just cut them off and that'll pop right off okay now we got to get this, we got to get this valve out of here okay now you can put it in a vise down here at the bottom if you want ways to hold that but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down and I'm going to tap that around with the hammer okay so I know it's empty but we're still going to take precautions so be careful when you do this so try to stay back away from this thing just in case right so Beat it right here on on that part right there. But I don't have a vice. Now, if I had a vice, I would put this bottom in a vice, and I'd put a wrench on there and pull it around. Now inside here, there'll be a valve. And then you're going to be smelling a lot of gas. Alright, see there's the valve. What this does, this is liquid propane tank. Okay, so what this valve does, it's kind of like how your fuel gauge works in your vehicle. But once the propane gets up, the liquid propane gets up there and it raises this up, it actually shuts it off. You can't overfill these things. So now you can also, if you want, you can save that piece and set this up like that overnight. It's liquid propane. Any gases that may be left in there, residual gases, will come out. Don't do this inside, of course. 
Um, so if that's, you know, leave it set overnight if you want. Now next thing, but I'm not going to do that. I know this is empty, but there still could be residual gases in here. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But you can actually see them coming out. Okay. So, but what we're going to do next is I'm going to purge it before I wash it. Okay. But just, just for safety's sake, I'm going to leave this set here for about an hour. And I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. You don't have to do this step, but I'm going to. I've done this with gas tanks for cars, for motorcycles, uh, lawnmowers, you name it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this. I'm going to start up the scooter, and I'm going to let the uh, exhaust gases from the scooter purge out this tank. Because the exhaust gases, we know, is they're already, they've already been burnt. They can't be burnt again. So I'm going to purge this, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. First, we're going to start the scooter. And I'm going to put this tank right underneath that exhaust. And I'm going to let this run for a minute, just like this. But I'm going to prop it up. So I don't have to hold it. And you can immediately start smelling the propane fumes. So I'm going to let that run for a minute. And then we'll go on to step two. And we're going to rinse that tank out with soapy water. Okay guys, now I'm going to take some of this cheap... It's just some cheap dish soap. It doesn't take a lot. Just pour some of that in there. Just like that. Grab your water hose or however you want to fill it up. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up. I'm only going to go oh, about halfway. Then I'm going to swish it around, dump it out. Just swish it around. Make sure you get all that soapy water coated everywhere that you can. Then I'm going to dump it out on the ground just like that. And I'm going to do this two or three times. Okay? So let me keep on doing this okay I've done that four times now I'm just going to let it run out until I hardly see any more soap coming out and if you want you can also run your uh, exhaust through it again if you want you don't have to or you can leave it set upside down again overnight again you don't have to but I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and I'm going to hold the hose here once it gets full, until I don't see any more soap coming out, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that I've got it all rinsed out, I'm going to prove to you there's no gas left in here. There's no water in this thing. I'll take my torch. Nothing. Now, if your torch ain't going to light that up, a few sparks is not going to light it up. But if you feel safer when you're cutting this, if you've got a pneumatic cutoff wheel, 
don't use something electric like I've got uh, you can fill this up with water do your cutting wherever you want to cut it at if you feel safer but like I said right there that's clean if that torch ain't gonna light that up nothing is so that's how you clean your propane tank if you want to cut one in half alright guys so there you go that's how you do that you won't have any problems then you can cut on it all day long you can cut it with a torch you can cut it with a plasma cutter it's not gonna blow up on you so there you go uh, but if you want a straight a good straight cut I would use a cutoff wheel either pneumatic but if you're gonna fill it up with water you're gonna want to use air something that's not electric uh, like I said I'll, I'll, all I've got uh, I don't have a cutoff wheel for my pneumatic cutoff thing whatever you want to call it um, but I do have my four inch grinder so I'm not gonna fill it up with water but if you feel comfortable doing that by all means do it now stay tuned for part two where I'm going to cut a hole out in this thing and we're going to make a little a little stove out of it now the reason why I'm going to make a little stove I know tent camping down here it doesn't really get all that cold that's usually what guys make these for but we have a lot of hurricanes so if the electric goes out I'll have something to cook on so stay tuned for part two where we're going to start building this uh, little stove Thanks for watching. Remember, stay safe, guys. Shea Bear 1000, Myth the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.